Hey guys, Shane here with Fugitec 3D Printing. Today we're going to check out something totally new, and it's an adhesive called Magigoo. Welcome back guys. So, I reached out to Magigoo long time ago to ask them if they would ship me some. They weren't ready, so they did hit me up oh, a month or so ago and said, hey, we've got something, we want to send it to you to try out. I said, great, so it got here. Let's take a look at it. Now this is a type of glue used on your print bed and it's an interesting concept uh, because a lot of people just use regular you know, Elmer's glue. If you're going to use glue at all, I'd try not to use any. But this is a very interesting concept. So we've got some other stuff in here. Whoa. Well this is a cool little keychain. I'm pretty sure this is their logo. Looks like a uh, light bulb. And we've got some instructions. Okay, let's take a look at these uh, instructions here a little bit, some of the info on it. Magigoo works with ABS and PLA. The adhesive makes sure prints stick firmly when the print bed is hot and then releases them as soon as it cools down. That's good. The unique and innovative mechanism means that no tools are needed for removing prints from the bed. They just pop off when things are cool to go. So, how to apply? Shake the mag. Well, okay, let's take a look at this first. So, this is Magigoo 3D Print Adhesive. It looks like a giant glue stick. And it tells you here, press nib, apply, and spread. That's directions for use. Three easy steps. I like that. Thought 3D. That is the name of the company right there, and their logo is on here. All right. It's got all the regular warnings on it, and it's 50 milliliters in this. So if we pop off the lid, ah, here we go. So it's got this top to it that you push down and once you have it flipped over and you push it down the glue then oozes around it and you can spread it out nice and thin like so that's very cool we just go ahead and roll this off we can see just how it actually works in there very interesting I've never used anything other than Elmer's glue the few times that I've had to use it in order to get certain filaments to stick down to the bed so again it says we just press the nib apply and spread but in here it says, shake the Magigoo pen like you mean it. Oh, there's a little thing in there to help it go. Press the nib, end of your pen, on the print bed for Magigoo to flow. Spread the adhesive evenly on the print area. Cover your bed with an even thin layer. Make sure that no spots are missed. All right, so it's best to apply Magigoo when it's still cold. Uh, store it upright like so. Uh, it was specifically done for mobility, which is good news. Take it on the go or even in a flight as hand luggage. I think um, 50 milliliters is too much. I don't know how many that is in ounces. Hopefully it's less than three fluid ounces because that's the limit now. It gives you your know, recommended print settings, obviously for your you know, build plate, 40 to 60 for PLA, 90 to 110 for ABS. After your prints have finished, and popped off, clean the print bed by wiping it with a damp cloth. What to do if you love the results? If you like Magic Group, spread the word. Well, I will spread the word on whether it's good or bad. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on my printers. Oh, we'll put glass back on the FT5, I guess, and there's already glass on the D-Force Mini, if that's gonna print for me. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. We'll have to wait and find out. GTX out of commission and I don't have glass on the Monoprice Select like Mini, but that's okay. So we'll give this a shot. We'll do a couple prints with it. We'll see how it holds on and how it pulls off and then we'll come back and talk about it. All right, so Magigoo. So I used this for almost a month, I'd say, on dozens of prints now. I used a lot of it on my Delta. I did a bunch of prints on the GTEC once I got that working again. I actually did not use it on any of the FT5 prints though. But it really doesn't matter what you use it on, it matters what it works. So I went ahead, I've done a couple clips, and some is just applying this, so you really have to shake it up really well. Push down on the nozzle, because it will push up in, and do that a bunch of times to kind of prime it. Once you have it flowing out, then you can start moving around. If it starts coming out too thin, stop, shake it really well, and that way it will thicken up and then you can do it again and then it will start to slowly ooze and then you can start spreading it. There is a nice set of like ridges on the top of this to really help spread it out nice and evenly. And when you do that, always remember you want to do it on a cold build plate. At least that's what they recommend, so I want to do what they recommend. Other ones I am just 
have this on, the print has finished, and I am popping the print off. And literally, some of them, it doesn't even feel like they're attached anymore once it cools. I mean, it comes off way easier than any build surface or even plain glass that I've ever printed with. I'm amazed at how adhesive this is during the print, but then when the print's over, it basically, I mean, literally pops off. It was not even touching in some of them. Some of them were like a little quick click, and that was off. That was it. Now another clip I did here is I have glue, regular old, the purple glue stick that everyone uses out there. I have that on there. And as you can see, I can't even get it off. It doesn't even budge with my finger. So I have to go ahead, get my little putty knife and start prying it off. Now on these arms are a little bit thin, so I had to be really careful. And, but when I used the Magigoo, I had no issues whatsoever pulling that right off. As I said, having used this for a few you know, weeks now and doing dozens of prints, there is still a ton left in here. I can go through a glue stick in no time flat. I mean, I went through a six pack and you know, I'd say one doesn't even last me a month, depending on what I'm printing. If I'm printing a ton of Pet-G, it lasts no time at all. If I don't print Pet-G at all, then it lasts forever. It really depends what you print, but you can use this with any filament, put this down, start printing on the glass, and it pops right off. I've done Pet-G and PLA with this and they both worked fantastically. Now looking online, this is mainly a European product, but you can get it through Amazon, but the wait time is pretty significant, one to two months it looks like. But that being said, if you can get your hands on this, I would give it a try. It worked out really well. It's a little messy at first until you get used to it, then once you do, you can get it to go down pretty evenly, pretty easily. Uh, and I've actually applied layer on top of layer, so I've done a print, reapplied, done another print, reapplied, done another print, and they all came out absolutely flawlessly, no issues at all. And also, this doesn't leave too much of a residue or film on your print, where with purple glue stick, or I mean, that's really the only thing other one I use. With purple glue stick, you have a complete layer of glue on there, so you have to take your print to the sink, some warm water, wash that off. None of this came off on any of my prints at all. Uh, so and again, I, again, I did this with some big prints. I did it with some small prints. Small prints literally pop right off. Big prints might have needed a little bit of a tweak from my hand, but maybe like, you know, two pounds of pressure, like nothing, and they popped right off. I was very surprised at how well this performed because again, I'd never, only ever used glue stick and that's rare when I use that. It's really for Pet-G. Everything else I print on glass, mirror, build tack, Folger tack, Print Bite, Print and Z. I mean, I've used all kinds of different build surfaces, but not a whole lot of glues. So this is very interesting, and I'm very impressed with how well this worked. So when it comes to the end, I highly recommend if you can get your hands on this. I think it's around 15 or $18 on Amazon, but again, you've got a one to two month wait time, I believe because the seller is selling through Amazon, the US site, and he ships it directly out. I'm not sure how that works. There is no Amazon stock for what it seems like for now, but if you ever did stock on Amazon, this would definitely be a go-to item if you could get this within a week or so. If you can get it, great. If you can't, try to. It's very cool to work with. It's very easy to print with. It's very easy to apply. Again, once you get over that first learning factor of how to use more of a liquid type of glue, very easy to use and I highly recommend it. So disclaimer, this Magic Goo was sent to me by the maker Thought3D for my honest review of the product. I was not given any compensation to do it aside from getting one of these for free. Okay guys, if you like this video, give it a like. Did you think this was a cool product? Did you think I gave it a good trial? Do you think I didn't? Let me know in the comments below. Again, if you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Please comment down below, I'd love to talk to you. If you wanna support the channel, if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell icon, that way you get a notification anytime new content comes out on my channel. If you wanna support me financially, there's a Patreon link down below. Thank you, my current Patreons. If you wanna support me without some money, there's a affiliate links down below. Check out some other videos over here on the side. And as always, guys, happy printing.